just did I do? And what was that? A reason with him? Of course, I had reason with him. Every time I hit his little behind, I gave him a reason why. That's right. I know that's why. <laughs> Mama's place. Well, this whole thing started after I'd come home from work one day and found that my children had my house tore up from the floor. Now they did this after I had taken the time to clean up and make the place look like, well, at least in my mind, I thought it looked picture perfect. Now I was beyond peeved after I saw this. After I snapped and pushed beyond my anger, I sat down and I began to ask God to show me a better way to get them to do what they're told to do without me having to whip their little behinds. Right then in that very moment, I remembered that a friend of mine had some rules posted at the door of each one of her children's bedroom, simply as a means to remind them of things they needed to do to ensure their rooms were clean before they left. And so I sat down to do the same. As I began to write these rules, they began to rhyme. I soon realized that these rules were quickly turning into a poem. And when I neared the end of it, I sort of got stuck. So I tucked it away and figured I'd get to it later. And meanwhile, I got a call from a young lady I had recently met. I had been trying to reach her all weekend long, but it, I wasn't getting an answer. And, and I became very concerned because it wasn't like her not to return my call. Um, so when she finally reached out to me, I learned that she had been arrested because she spanked her son for stealing a pack of gum from the store. Now I thought to myself, that could have been me. I would have done the same thing had that been my child. After that, what was once titled Mama's Clean Place quickly became a poem titled Mama's Place. This incident propelled me to speak out because it didn't make sense to me that just a year or so beforehand, I was getting letters from the school requesting permission to physically discipline my children should they get out of line while they were at school. And now all of a sudden they want to create these laws to make it a crime for me, their mother, to whip their behind should they disobey the rules of my home. Well, I was more than just a bit confused. After that, I finished writing these rules, which turned into a poem. I read it to a professor who was a member at my church at the time. And all the while I was thinking, why am I reading this to her? She's not going to understand a poem of this nature. She doesn't even seem like a woman who would even scold her children. And she'll probably end up shooting this thing down or worse, call Child Protective Services and have me arrested for whipping my children. But to my surprise, after I finished reading it, she began to applaud and then said to me, my hat's off to you, but I see this as a play. I then said, well, I've never written a play before. She then said to me, sit down and write the play. I said, but I've never, she said, sit down and write the play. After I hung up the phone, I sat down and stared at my computer and said, Lord, how do I do this? I immediately heard, heard a voice say, follow the format of the poem. And so I did. And all of a sudden, this writing spirit just took over me. I found myself waking up in the middle of the night writing, jotting down conversations I would hear in my head and stopping gold traffic. I couldn't stop writing. Then these songs and tunes began to pop in my head. I was constantly running to the recording studios to lay tracks. Finally, about a year and a half later, I produced my very first production of Mama's Place. Grown now. Grown? Uh-huh. Last time I checked, I was 19, going on 20. And I think that do constitute as being grown, don't you? Uh, well, baby doll, if you're that grown, <laughs> it's time for you to go. Go where? Grown folk don't have to ask where to go when it's time to go. <laughs> well, as time went on, it seemed like this message took on a life of its own. What was once a poem turned into a play and, and then became a book series. I never thought in my wildest dream that when I asked God to help me that this is what would come of it. But I guess there's more to say about parenting, about life in general. And now after spending years and years of trying to develop a message about parenting, love, hope, and understanding, I pray that the world will now receive that which I've been trying to convey through the poem, through the play, and through the, just the songs and the music of Mama's Place, and that they will also be inspired to do something. Do something that will make a change to cause a difference in the world around them, if nothing else in their own neighborhoods. And to just 
help our children do better, to be better, and to grow into what I believe God wants us to become, all of us, better human beings.